Hey everybody, Chance Priest here. So, a few minutes ago I was making a video uh, on Little Kaiju. And, uh, man, I had like a brainstorm. I said, hey, why don't I do a little video series on, on like just collecting. Like, just talk about it, you know. So, well, maybe you'll hate it. So, please give me feedback. Let me know what you think. If you think, well, that was stupid, shut your mouth, then say that. And then if you think that's cool, let's do that some more. Well, we'll do it some more. So, uh, anyway, uh, Victory Comics LLC on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and um, YouTube. Victory Comics LLC and Priest Monsters Alien Superhero Group on Facebook. Come join us. Um, anyway, so I just thought, man, you know, it'd be cool just have a little, a little, uh, little chat with, cause I, you know, I'm only just me talking to a phone, so I'm kind of crazy, but, uh, you know, just like a little chat, like say, hey man, you know, like this is why I collect or why I collect, you know, maybe do a little series and every, you know, maybe y'all can tell me like, hey, let's talk about this or talk about that. But, uh, I thought for this one, I'd say, hey, you know, um, I'm gonna talk about like what turns you on as a collector, man, like what, what turns me on, you know? Uh, I mean, I guess a lot of it has to do with how we grew up, you know? I mean, where, where we grew up. Uh, I mean, of course, I grew up I grew up half my time in, in, in rural East Texas and half, half the time, uh, I mean, rural East Texas and rural South Texas, and then I grew up some in the city in East Texas and, and Dallas and San Antonio and you name it. I've been in Bryan and College Station. I've, I've been all over Texas. But anyway... So you think, well, you know, and you know, when I grew up, I'm 44, I grew up in the 70s and the 80s. So you're like, uh, uh, you know, how would this guy know about all this stuff? But you know, oh, TV, movies, you know. And so I, I think that's what, and you know, in the toys we collected as a kid. And, and you know, I had a really, really, really good talk with, a, uh, with an old school toy collector, my exact same age, uh, a couple days ago. And it was so fun because him and I had the exact same stories and I was all like, you know, I, I, and I know a bunch of y'all have the same stories and, uh, and, you know, maybe we could even do this live. Like, uh, I, the only thing about lives, I have to read it off of a deal and it takes time and all that stuff like that. But, um, anyway, I just thought it'd be cool, you know, just to talk about like your experiences and maybe, or, you know, write it in after the video is posted and I'll, you, I always write back y'all. If I don't write you back, there's something wrong. I'm sick or something, or I, or, I, or I missed it or something. I'm not a big computer guy. Anyway, um, so of course I grew up, uh, my family's country, even though, even the ones in the city, they were country, you know, they, they come from Texas and they, you know, it's, it's, it was, uh, you know, we had ranchers and cotton pickers and, and, uh, uh, hard workers. That's, I mean, that's what we come from, hard workers. You know, there wasn't none of this crap, you know, like, uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna sit around and play with toys, you know, go get your butt to work, you know uh, Luckily I had grandparents that they worked so hard in their life They wanted to see somebody not work a little hard So when I went and visit them, I didn't really have to work I got to I got to enjoy toys and 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 watch TV and movies and stuff. And so I had a good time, you know um, Anyway, I don't know why but growing up man, I, I you know, I was I was like you know anything that was that was um uh, you know, monsters. I, I, I call it priests, monsters, aliens, and superheroes because those are the three things that like just flip my wig, you know, when I was a kid. That and cowboys. I mean, who, I mean, I wanted to be Matt Dillon, you know, uh, Paladin, uh, you know, uh, Wider. That's, I mean, phew, like dream come true stuff. But anyway, um, uh, but other than that, I mean, that's, and I always think of a cowboy like as a superhero. So, you know, I just throw it in there with it. But anyway, you know, I mean, you see a cool monster. But anyway, this 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 collector and I were talking, and he's he's one of these guys like I've been for so long. I have nobody to talk talk toys with. Now all of a sudden, I find hundreds of people that want to talk toys with me. So that's really cool. You know, I mean, it gives me something to 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 look forward to every day. You know, y'all talking to me and give me crap, and I, I I I shoot the crap, and I like to I like to joke around with everybody. Uh, don't ever think I'm serious. I'm never bully. I've been bullied. I'd never be like that. You know. So anyway. So, uh, anyway, growing up, you know, man, I mean, we were talking about, like, 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 I said, he, he had a rack of his, his own toys, and he said, he had a bunch of superpowers in there, and I said, hey, you remember the first time you saw superpowers? He named exactly when, the, the store, what they were there to do, and it blew me away, because I was like, 
Well, that's so wild because the first time I saw one, uh, my mom had to go to Eckerd Drugs to get something, and and she and I, I remember I said I'm gonna go look at the toy aisle, and she said, "Don't bring anything. I don't, don't, don't you dare, don't you dare bring anything. You know, we don't have the money right now to buy nothing." And my mom was nice. You know, she was like, she's like, "No, no, no." You know, so just don't. You know, and she would always, if she had the money, trust me, she'd always buy me a toy. Um, so anyway, I ran over there, and you know, freaking frozen locked in on on uh, I remember there was Batman and Superman there and I was I was just blown away and um and I grabbed them both and then I said oh but man you know uh they got that Lex Luthor with that you know the way they made him in superpowers with that armor and he was so cool I was like oh my god you know what do I do you know so I go to my mom and I was like hey, well you know please you know did the old begging thing you know please. And of course my dad would have whack you know shut up and, you know but uh, mom, she was all like, no, I just can't, I just can't. She said, okay, well, we'll, finally she said, we'll do without something, you can get two of them. So I grabbed, because I, I always wanted a bad guy and a good guy, you know, to fight, you know. Not like today where Superman fights Batman. I mean, you know, that, anyway, so I got, I remember, I remember, you know, the year, I remember, I remember the mall we were in, I remember exactly where we went. And anyway, I grabbed, I grabbed um, uh, Superman and Lex Luthor to have the ultimate battle. And uh, anyway, so it was just stuff like that, man. I was like, I was like, man, that's what makes toys freaking awesome, you know? And, uh, uh, you know, and now for me, it's like finding this, this, you know, something I haven't seen before or something I've seen once and always wanted again, you know, or, you know, because of course I'm into kind of rare toys, you know, but anyway. And, but I mean, I like common toys too. I mean, it's just, if, if it's cool, I mean, I, I don't pass it up. But anyway. You know, I don't know, it's that, that feeling, you know, so I'm always trying to get that feeling back, you know, I'm always like, you know, like, like, man, I want that first time rush again, you know, the, the first time I saw that or the first time I saw that. And of course, I think new toys suck for the most part, so I can't get that rush. You know, I can go to Toys R Us, which is about to be closed, but, uh, you know, going to a toy store with their hell, there's hardly any toy stores left. It's sickening. So I would go into a store and go to the toy aisle and, you know, it just, it don't, it's not very exciting. You know, it's just kind of, mm, you know, and, and. You're thinking now. You, now I go in. I think, well, I'd rather just save my money on that and uh, and buy, um, uh, you know, buy something off the computer from or off Facebook. Or, you know, somebody that I know, and I'd rather buy something else. And and I buy a lot of international stuff. So shoot, I'm always owing this guy a hundred or that guy two hundred. And you know, life of a addi addicted toy collector, right? You know. So uh, anyway, I I, I was I, I grabbed a few things just laying around. I thought, man, I'm I'm just gonna pop up some stuff that like like turns me on like like when you see it you're just like oh i love that you know just oh and uh and and uh and, and, and tell you the truth one of the things and i'll just start with the biggie one of the things that turns me on the most are like combos like like there there are two things that i love and uh and it don't get no better than this right here this is from the you know early 70s it's um it's um uh, uh my brain always freezes uh it's uh uh, mirror man and uh and you got mirror man you got a little character down there i mean you got a mirror man watch you got uh you got some balls and you got a, a gun a belt uh you know which is like a ray gun which i i'm a ray gun fanatic so uh and, and you got that cool header card nothing about that is bad i mean that's 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 the stuff that, that like i say that's the stuff that turns me on you know it's got it's got a ray gun it's got a little vinyl it's got you know it's got I do like vintage stuff, but man, I don't, in the '90s, they they made some killer vinyl stuff that I love, and they're still made. Now that's something that's still cool is is good vinyl, good good Sofubi, good Kaiju. Um, I like the stuff that has a little bit of story behind it, you know. Of course, I make toys, and so I put I have before I ever sculpt or draw or anything, I I, I get a story in my mind, and it starts conjuring. Sometimes I get the image, and then I build the story on the image, you know. And then, but I always have this big backstory, you know. So I like a backstory, and sometimes for these guys in my head, I make a backstory when they don't have one. But you know, um, I guess if I didn't make my own toys, I would, I would, I would do that more. But anyway, so anyway, something like that, man. It's just like I really, I, I'm serious. I, when I say this, 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 that's that's modern art. That is that is it right there. Yeah, you, you, I don't know. People call it pop art. People call it modern. People call it whatever. Uh, uh, I, I don't really care. It's just art. I mean, it's just so artistically done and put together, and and art's supposed to move you, and this stuff moves me. This little dude right here, that's Heteron. 
and he's in a tank. So you got a combo, you know, you got, I mean, what dude don't like military hardware? I mean, I love a tank. I love a jet fighter. I love a spaceship. I love a ray gun, you know? So you got this killer tank and, uh, and then you got, I mean, it's bizarre because why is, uh, why is a big pollution monster driving a, uh, a tank and, uh, and it's, you know, crazy purple and, and green and it's just, that's awesome. That's art. That's, that's, that moves me right there. That, that turns me on. I mean, I'm just like, ooh. Um, staying on the, the vinyl stuff, right there. When you have a man beast, don't ask me why. And I, and I, I swear, it, maybe it comes from Swamp Thing. Maybe it's Island of Dr. Moreau. Maybe it's, you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, Wolfman, uh, loving the universal monsters. I love a monster that's a guy, you know, so that's a dude monster. You know, I mean, he's not a all four, you know, he's not a Godzilla or, and not that I don't love those because I do, but I mean, that, there's something about these guys. And of course you add a, you know, basically like a pro wrestling championship belt to them and you've got a masterpiece right there. Absolutely awesome. I, I grabbed another one. I don't even remember that guy's name, old Conehead with the, with the, the pimples, but I love him. And then that guy's a mushroom guy, I'm pretty sure. <sighs> love. Love, 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 love. Of course, then you got my act, the action figure stuff. Um, I like cheap toys because I think they have more... Uh, maybe they look more abstract. That's a good word, right? And they look more abstract to me, and so I, I, I like that that unreal look. Um, in my life, I've dealt with a lot of real stuff, like hardcore, you know, dead people and situations and things you know just real just bang for years and so and so you 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 I, i'm not traumatized or nothing by it but, but at the same time it's like man i've lived all that i don't I, you know I, when i watch a movie i don't want to see that ultra real i, I want to see you know i like i like the comic bookie the 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 surreal that's what i like so these things turn me on this is a um uh Oh, he's a bootleg. I think these are from Spain or Argentina or something. I can't ever remember, but I don't care. I'll buy them. If I see them, somebody, people offer stuff to, oh, yeah, I'll take it, you know. Put me on the payment plan, you know. So, anyway, there is a guy. Of course, he look, he's He-Man's body remolded, and he's got some extra stuff. And, and, of course, he looks more like Conan because he's got black hair. But, anyway, awesome. And then you got uh, killer dudes like this guy. And I know that's from Argentina. And uh, that's a Guerrero's. I think these are all called Guerreros of some type or another, but anyway, uh, you know, robot, space critter, you know, that's that's high art, people. If you don't know what high art is, I just showed it to you. Uh, here's another one. Bang. High art. Love it. I mean, capital L, love. High art, right there, bang. Look at that thing. And granted, part of the art is is that they're they're like they're like knocked off you know they're like they're like they're like parts and pieces of other stuff and put together and and you know i mean i was so moved by it i i, I make my own my warriors of the universe guys because uh, i'm so into it i mean i'm so into the artwork the i really think there's an artwork to bootlegs it's that's this not given credit you know people are like oh look stupid you know you can always tell the people on the internet that have low iqs you know <laughs> i should say that because i say some stupid stuff but um uh, no, I mean, but you know, they're they're like, you know, they they're just they're just downers, you know. I mean, uh, negative, everything's negative. You know, have something horrible to say about everything, and I, man, I hate that. But you can tell you're like, you know, you don't get it, you know, you know, you, 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 you know. Sometimes in collecting, people just follow the leader, you know. So I don't know. That's all. That's the best they can do. But uh, whatever. Ever yeah, there's just you know, ever teach their own. One of my absolute favorites, Prune Face. I don't know his name. But um, one of my absolute favorite toys, period, bar none, don't ask me why. That's the thing. Don't try to figure out why. Just, just feel it. That's, that's my point to all this, you know. Um, why do we collect this or that? Or the other? I hate it, you know, like when I'm somewhere. We have a lot of people, they'll make appointments and they'll come to the, the warehouse here, you know, and they're looking through stuff and they're like, man, I'm focusing on this for my collection. I'm focusing on this. Then they see something. Of course, you come here, you're going to see something you've never seen before. Guaranteed. And they go, oh, my God, what is that? I love that. And, and you could see it on their face. You're like, yes, yes. Not like for a sale. Like, 
you want to see that old time feeling, man. You like, you're like, oh, you know, I've I've stirred him emotionally with that that piece, you know. And they're like, oh, and they're like, I love this. And then you're like, well, you know what? I'll sell it to you, you know. And then they go, oh no, I got to stay focused. Goodbye, inner child. You know, there's the. I mean, that's the whole point, man, is to stir your stir your emotions, your 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 your, your toy turn on, whatever you call it, you know. Uh, uh, and, and that's 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 why I collect. People always like, hey, you got you got some of this, some of that. You got. Uh, I mean, I do. I mean, I'm just. I don't care what it is. I like it. I like it. You know. Um. Uh. This this is a. a I want to get through the. I, I I I make videos way too long, so I gotta I gotta shut up. But um. Anyway, this deal right here, and I've showed this before. To me, that's a masterpiece toy. It's got a great box, great artwork, and you are flying in a devil, and you are like demon-looking dudes. You know, it's it's a 10 out of 10. Here's another 10 out of 10. Ghost Rider. He's a, a, just a rare old Ghost Rider toy that was on the rack, you know, from the 70s when he's or 76 or 78, 76. And, you know, you switch out his head, and, you know, back in the day, this would have just just a cheap toy. Oh, my God. Who, who could... That belongs in that case. I don't like graded stuff, but that... I, I don't need the grade. I, I wanted the case when I bought it. I bought it already graded. Who, who cares? Because, man, that thing is... That is your Picasso. That is your... Because it's, it's not just the card art. It's not just the toy. It's the whole thing together. Masterpiece. 10 out of 10, you know. Um, gotta have some sweet tea. Keep it going. Okay, because I'm a longtime shooter of real guns, and I love to shoot. I mean, I just, I do it all the time. Uh, anytime I get a chance, I mean, I, I don't have as much time as I used to. But anyway, so I love toy guns, but mainly I love ray guns, because I love it to look unreal, you know, un unrealistic. So, these are just some cheap, I have ones that go way back. I have a big collection, but I just grabbed some that I had at hand. Little target sets like that. You know, I look at that and it's awesome. You've got this Robocop looking dude. You got some really weird guy. Look at that knockoff TIE fighter over there. That's awesome, man. And you know, you can shoot it. And, and you know, that, that takes me back to think, man, if I was a kid, I would go crazy over that. You know, I mean, just the thought of setting that stuff up and shooting it, you know, just be so cool. Um, I grabbed this one. Because, uh, you know, you got like, uh, I guess that's supposed to be a, uh, uh, one of the one of the big robot guys from Japan. Robotech, maybe, or something like that. But, I mean, look at that double barrel. Yeah. And I know, they're, they're cheap. They were, they were cheap toys. Uh, but they're so cool. Even today, I'm always going, when I go into uh, any store, I'm always looking for ray guns and stuff. And, of course, space swords are a deal that I'm also huge into. And look, I mean, you've got the you got the total knockoff Darth Maul back here. You know, they just they just absolutely stole that. But anyway, stuff like this that, that and there's other stuff. I like little army men, and I like uh, space set sets like that are like army men, and, and and on and on and on. I mean, I got a whole bunch of stuff that I love. But anyway, what I'm trying to get at is like, man, I, I do this for the emotion. You know, the the I, I'm not analytical. Uh, a lot of people pound me because I like this movie and I love that movie and I love that movie and I love that movie and they're like, oh, well, you know, you know, and they start analyzing it and I say, well, see, that's the difference. I turn that off. I can analyze a lot of stuff. I, I, I was a detective, uh, you know, so I, I mean, I can analyze, uh, but I don't like to. I like to sit there just like I was 10 years old and enjoy, you know, and so uh, if I had one thing to say about, about, you know, if I had a piece of advice, as a collector, go with your gut. Go with what you like. Go with what you love. Forget it. You know, don't, don't, don't. You know, let it, let it, let it be fun. You know, you don't, you don't have to have every one of every set. And then when you're somewhere off, somewhere or at a toy shop or a toy show or a comic book show, and you see something that just turns out, that's nothing. Comic books. Ooh, I'm a nut. Got tons of. Them. It's something that just blows your mind and your heart's racing. And you're like, oh, I want this so bad. Don't sit there and, you know, turn it off, turn that off. Because, man, that's what you're there to get. You know, that's what this is all about. 
And if you're just a pure investor in this stuff, well, you suck. But, um, you know, I mean, they got to have investors too, I guess, but, you know, that's <laughs> never been my, never been my case. Uh, well, anyway, so that's it. That's, uh, that's the, that's the first of, uh, of maybe one, maybe one of one, maybe one or more. But anyway, if y'all want to do some more of this where we talk about collecting, then let's do it. Maybe we can do a live one or something anyway, but to give me some feedback and, uh, y'all sign up for YouTube. It, it helps me. I want to, I, I want to get that going. Okay. Thank y'all. Have a good night.